So some people have expressed an interest in using Google Drive to create note cards using Noodle tools. And so this tutorial will just show you how to uh, easily create some note cards using the Google Spreadsheet feature. Um, so if you log into Google Drive, um, you should see this interface with your own documents. But you can come over to Create, and if you click Create, it'll give you a list of different options. And the spreadsheet is one that I've found to be most useful in creating note cards. So you can select Spreadsheet. When the spreadsheet opens, you'll want to give the spreadsheet a name that's appropriate to whatever project you're working on. Um, it's helpful if you have your name added in the title. So, for instance, uh, I could enter mine. Um, I might do my last name first because that makes it easier to find. So Collins, Mr., and then um, I'll just title this research project. But you could do whatever the title of your project is and then click OK. And so now this will be saved automatically in my Google Drive periodically, which is one of the great benefits of Google Drive. And then essentially you have this whole spreadsheet to work with. And so you can use whatever titles or categories you need to. Uh, the most straightforward way, if I'm doing note cards, would to be have one column for a source, one for summary, one for a quotation, one for paraphrase perhaps, or I can actually, um, I think what I'll go with is I'll have one column be source, one column be notes, and um, I can have like type of note. And that will enable me to kind of organize those notes. So if I'm just using those three columns, I can delete all of the other ones, which you do by clicking on the first column and then, oh, I I'll swear. If you click and hold down at the same time and then drag to the right, you can select all of the other columns. Once those are all selected, you can right click on the columns and select delete columns. This keeps the uh, note sheet much more organized. Um, I'm going to make this my header selection, so I'm going to center these words. I'll put them in bold so they stand out uh, right there, back on bold. And then I'm going to put in a background color, a fill color, just to make that row uh, stand out. I'll just do a light blue, something simple. So now I have that header row all set. I might also make it a little bit larger just so it stands out to me. Um, and then over here you can choose how you center text. I want this text to float in the middle so I can go to the middle. If I wanted it to go up top, I could select it to go up top. Its default is over here at the bottom, but in my header rows, it looks really nice if it's in the middle. So I'll set that up like that. And then I'm going to give the rows just a little bit more room. So I'm going to make my notes row or column larger. I'm going to drag that over. That expands the notes one. Sources, I would also like to have larger. And you can play with those until you're happy with them. So then once this is all set, if you would like to make it, you can scroll throughout these. A handy feature that I like doing with these spreadsheets is to freeze the first row. And what that does is it makes sure that that row stays at the top so that when you scroll down, you can still see the categories that you're scrolling beneath. Um, and to do that, go to uh, View. And then there are Freeze Rows. And I will select Freeze One Row. And now, when I scroll, that blue source notes type of note stays right there. And so I could then type the title of whatever article or book I was using here. So you could have the article title, whatever that would be. So I'll just put it in brackets so for the title of the article. And then here you could type whatever summary, paraphrase, or quotation you want. That would go there. And then over here, if I want to organize these by this way, I could then say, OK, this was a summary. It's a type of note. I'll put a summary. And then that's very clear to me what that is labeled. Uh, if you want other columns for any other sort of organization, you could just right click on the top of one column. And then you can insert a column to the left or to the right. I'll 
insert one to the right, now I have an extra column. Uh, I might have to go make that blue again by going up here to the fill color. Um, but that's pretty straightforward, and you can create as many columns as you want. I think the bare minimum that somebody would want would be the source and the notes. Uh, this type of note column would also be pretty helpful. So, if you'd like to keep note cards in Google Drive, this is how you can do it. Um, do know that you would also need to keep your sources somewhere, so the MLA citation for your research. And there'll be another video that explains how to do MLA citations, or rather, probably a variety of videos. But here's how to do note cards in Google Drive using the spreadsheet.